it's funny that one of my guys in the comment section, he put, I can't root for the Bengals at all after how they ran it up on us in that last game. We blew the Bengals out and we took our starters out, but Burrow wanted to drag it on us and talk smack after. I can't respect that. And I had to let him know, like, hey, don't forget the Ravens' former defensive coordinator. He was the one that was talking trash about both Joe Burrow and Jamar Chase before that game. Knowing the guys that he was rolling out there with against Joe Burrow and Jamar Chase before that game. So, uh, you got to remember everything. Anyway, YouTube team, keep it clean. What's going on? It's St. Graven here with another video. And in this video, the Ravens are doing their homework early. And this, like, surprised me because we, of course, have heard about all these in-house candidates that could possibly take over the defensive coordinator job for the Ravens. And we know, especially, especially when it comes to defensive coordinator, they do a lot of promoting within. And you would almost think, like, hey, all right, Dean Pease, he had been on the staff for a while. He did his thing. Uh, Wink Martindale. He been on the staff. He was on the Super Bowl team. He been with the staff for what ten years. So he obviously did his thing too, and he came up in the ranks. So you would think, with the overall success minus last season, but the overall success that the Ravens defense has had and what they've obviously been known for for the longest, that they would continue that trend of promoting from within. But this interview, and it is just an interview. Just because somebody interviews for the job, it does not mean that they're gonna get it. Trust me, I know from firsthand experience. Being on a lot of interviews in the past. But this lets us know that the Ravens are willing to do something different. That the Ravens are looking at a philosophy change. And I love it. I respect it and I appreciate it. And y'all know I wanted it. So anyway, the Ravens have put in a request uh, for Cowboys secondary coach, Joe Witt. Now, with the Cowboys defense last year, were they a number one defense? No. Top five defense? No. Top ten defense? No. <laughs> not, not at all. But looking at the part of the defense that he coached, I think something that the Ravens are looking at specifically, they want turnovers. They want turnovers. Cowboys had the best turnover margin in the league at plus 14. Uh, they had the most interceptions in the league at 26. And the, just to put it in perspective, interceptions wise, the Ravens had nine. They had a whopping nine. And um, I bet if we like really sat here, we could probably name all of them. Uh, but we, we're not going to do that. Uh, but anyway, it seems as if the Ravens are looking to make some changes, some significant changes on the defensive side of the ball. And they're ready. They're ready for something new. Now, um, something else that this let me know. That the Ravens may finally, philosophically, at least defensive-wise. We'll see what they do on offense. Hey, Raven, you still got time to make a move. But anyway, it lets me know that on defense, that they may finally finally be looking to catch up to the rest of the league and what I mean when I say that is we know it's a passing league we know that so you got to have your pass defense in order now we know it wink last year it was ranked the 32nd pass defense and a lot of that was due to injuries but a lot of it was due to early on in the season when they were just giving up <laughs> literally everything everything and it was nasty but it looks like they're going for something different now something else again philosophy change something else that lets us know that the ravens are possibly willing to do something significant di that's different is that the cowboys they run a 4-3 and I know there have been so, so many ravens fans saying hey we should switch to a 4-3 defense Instead of the 3-4. They say 3-4 is cool, but hey, we got some person that we could, you know, we could obviously make some moves. We got free agency, got the draft. You could change that philosophy and switch to a 4-3. Because that's what the Cowboys ran. And you would think that if they're interviewing somebody who was part of a 4-3 defense, 
even though he wasn't a defensive coordinator, he was a de- he was a defensive coach, but not the coordinator, secondary coach. But you would think that it'd be like, oh, okay, maybe he can he can run that. So, hey, I I love it. I and again, remember, it's just an interview. It does not mean that he's gonna get the job. But I do love that the fact that the Ravens are even willing to do this. They even and. I, I don't think at this point, I mean, you never know, but I don't think at this point that they would waste time and just be doing an interview for nothing. I mean, I, I know they do it sometimes when they bring in some guys for workouts and they host some guys, some players and stuff for workouts, but this is not uh, a workout. But I, I'm with it. I, I'm, I'm with it all day. And the Ravens, clearly, they, they, they see a need. They they see a problem, they see an issue, and they hopefully to hopefully they're finding a solution. Now, um, something that whoever the next defensive coordinator is, whoever that ends up being, one thing that he absolutely has to bring to this Ravens team um, is he has to let the players play to their strengths. He has to, and with uh. With Diggs this year, man, like he, there's obviously been a lot of conversation around his season because he had a very, very weird season because he gave up a whole lot of yards. He, this dude gave up so many yards, man, so many yards, but he made so many plays as well. He made, he had like t- Seemed like he had like 50 interceptions I think he had what like 11 He had some some crazy number of interceptions I forget exactly how much it was But I think Ravens are just they, They're really looking at that And they're like Why not us why, why not Especially for when we get healthy Like why not And ma- maybe uh, Maybe with the Cowboys secondary coach Maybe it could be something as simple as teaching guys how to catch on defense. Because Ravens only got nine picks last year. But I, I feel like they probably dropped like nine as well. Because they, they, they dropped a lot of picks last year, man. Well, not a lot, but they dropped a, a good amount. Well, especially for us Ravens fans, when we look at the, the, the team and, and the way that so many of these games came down to the wire, and we know how football is just such a game of inches, uh, all those drop picks, they, it, may, it may not have even been so many, but they were so crucial, and they hurt us, and they, they would have been game changers for sure. And who knows, if they would have caught a little more of those picks, Maybe the Ravens might have made the playoffs. But again, like so many of you pointed out, had the Ravens made the playoffs, then there may not be significant changes that came about. So, um, I am this like it's this is like for, for me personally, this is like refreshing. It's very refreshing that the Ravens are even doing this, man. It's very refreshing um, because it for me, it just wasn't expected. Now, one thing I, I got to check. Let, let, let me check right now. Um, Joe Witt's history. Uh, because the reason I want to check his history is to see if he is like brand new uh, or if he uh, he used to coach with Harbaugh back somewhere before. OK. Auburn, Citadel, oh, Louisville, the Falcons, Packers, 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 Browns, Falcons, Cowboys. Okay. So this is even weirder. Well, let's see what happens. Well, Greg Roman's still there, so I can't say we, let's see what happens yet. But all right, so no no former ties to Harbaugh, it looks like. No former ties to Harbaugh and no, for, well, either Harbaugh, because I'm looking for both, for Jim and John. So that is refreshing for me to see. All right, cool. Because I was a little worried about that. Because cause you know, you know, hashtag Hood Harbaugh put his boys on. But anyway, I respect it. So yeah, I'm, I'm cool with this. Now, this will not 
and should not be the only interview. Um, it's like when you're when you're buying something. Um, you never, especially like it, just to use it as an example, if you go into like Best Buy or something and you look into get a TV or even if you go anywhere, you're looking to get a TV um, and you're like, man, I, I need a TV. I need a new TV. My old TV is we had a good run, watched a lot of shows and stuff, a lot of movies and all that, blah, blah, blah. But. It's time for a change. I, I, need, I need something new, something different. I need to go in a different direction when it comes to my TV. So you go to Best Buy and you see a 55-inch, 60-inch, whatever your preference is. You see a TV and it's nice. It's like, oh, oh, I like that one. Wow. And they're like, oh, okay. Well, sir, that'll be $2,000. And you're like, oh, I like it. I really like it. You know what? Let me go ahead and buy it. That would be a mistake. Because that would be you pouncing on the very first opportunity that you see without comparing and contrasting other TVs that are not only in Best Buy, but at other stores as well, like Walmart, Target, Amazon, wherever. So it's important that the Ravens take that same approach and not just be, all right, that's it. You're the guy. But they need to make sure they, they look at other options as well. Now, um, some things could change that. Like if he interviews, because uh, they, they requested to interview him. It didn't even say they interviewed him yet. So Cowboys could be like, mm, no, you, he ain't going nowhere. Or Cowboys could be like, mm, no, and end up promoting him to be their defensive coordinator. Because uh, Dan Quinn, he's expected to get a head coaching job. I believe they said he's the, um, the top guy when it comes to the Broncos. And the Dolphins were looking at him too. So we'll see. So uh, he could end up becoming a, the defensive coordinator for the Cowboys. So he would get a significant raise, get a promotion, and then he would take over. But it, it is important that the Ravens, um, if, if he is their guy, and they can get it done and they really feel like, all right, this is the one. Okay, cool. Go for it. Okay, cool. Make that higher. Okay, cool. Make him your defensive co Like, if you really feel, like, after that interview, like, yeah, this the guy. Now, remember, last time Ravens, um, they were, in, they were interested in a, uh, a Cowboys coach. <laughs> he turned them down. Uh, and they ended up getting uh, Harbaugh instead. Because remember, Jason Garrett was supposed to be the head coach. That's who they wanted. But it obviously didn't work out. And with Harbaugh, it did work out. Um, so uh, let's, let's see if this time around, them getting a coach from the Cowboys, it ends up doing its thing. So anyway, team, keep it clean. Appreciate y'all. I love y'all. And just like the Ravens are when it comes to... Wink Martindale being on the staff. Shout out to Wink, though. Because, you know, we can, again, we know Wink's going to bounce back. We know he is. But we out.